thank you for, for calling. Yeah. All right, it's YouTube. We are uh, going to change that furnace, that uh, pulse furnace, where the coil was on, the evaporator coil was on the wrong side. It was on the return rather than the supply. Um, so, headed there now. We'll see what kind of trouble we can get into. And uh, take it from there. Like I said, we are uh, heading over to do that pulse furnace. Um, I don't know exactly how today is going to go. Um, we got quite a bit more snow last night, yesterday and last night than we had anticipated. And I do not believe these people are into shoveling much more of their driveway than they actually need to to get off of the road. Um, they do have quite quite a long driveway. Um, so with that being said, I mean, if there's a foot of snow, I'm not trudging through the snow to go take care of whatever the heat is kind of working at the moment. So if I can push it off, I will, because it's a Friday and I'm not getting stuck here late. So, um, all right, so I will catch up with you guys when I get over there and we'll take it from there. Driveway's clear. I had to dig this out just so we could get in and pump the system down. Change that coil.
Alright guys, we are back another day to work on that unit change. Um, we had an issue with uh, restriction in the return. So it was late when I had finished. The unit was running. Um, I didn't like what I was seeing and hearing, so we came back another day. Um, I didn't get a chance to film the end of the other stuff because it was just crazy. Um, so this is basically what we got. We got our new Lennox EL195 counterflow furnace. Here's the return. That, well, that was our new return. This is what was existing. Our coil has been switched to the bottom. The TXV is there. Drain goes into there. What we have is in that hole there is panning to a couple of uh, bays and some insulation has had dropped and covered the hole so I was actually getting almost no return uh, in there it was just sucking from wherever it could from in here from everywhere else so we opened that up and then found out that they actually only cut a four inch slit from the jumper duct that goes to the return that way they only cut a four inch slit in the top of that duct to the uh, the panning, which then comes back this way. And obviously it goes up. So we were able to see that through this access hole, which was already here, I guess from duct cleaners, I, I don't know. Um, but what they, what my coworker is doing right now, if you can see it in there, is he's actually got the end cap off of the, the jumper duct and he's opening that up. So this way it's a, a bigger, bigger opening so hopefully that will get us enough return air everything will be good I was flirting on the end of the, the high end just over uh, the temperature rise so I knew there was something restricted I didn't think it was in the supply um, when I did a static pressure reading at the end of the day it did the return static was just through the roof so um, all right so for the most part that's that uh, Nothing really too much else to see since you guys ran through everything. Um, if you like this channel, please give it, please give this video a like, uh, nice thumbs up. Um, if you, I would love you to subscribe, so you can click over here to subscribe. Uh, click over here, follow me on Google Plus. Uh, both ways, you'll be able to see new videos that come out. Um, you get you know notice when they when they're posted and uploaded and please leave your comments below let me know what you think um, anything you would do different anything that you liked uh, and you know we'll go back and forth all right I will catch you guys on the next one see ya. And sit down.